Good morning students. Welcome back to the class. Today's date is 12th August 2020. So we have completed a lesson in our previous class which was Tommy and Tuffy. Today we are going to start a new content which is module 4 from the English workbook. Let's start the module 4. So the objective of this module 4 are to be able to define pronouns. So we will be learning pronouns in this module. Next to differentiate between subjects and objects of sentences. So a sentence has uh, subjects and objects and what are they? We will be learning through this module. Then next, the third is to identify subject and object pronouns correctly. So first, we will be learning about the subjects and objects of a sentence. And later on, we will be learning about subject and object pronouns. As this chapter is based on pronouns, so we will be learning subject and object pronouns. Now let's move towards the next, to page number 32. So in page number 32, there is an exercise which is exercise 2.1. What is the question? Fill in the missing letters and complete the names of the pictures. So here the pictures are given and also the words are also there but some of the alphabets of those words are missing. Now let's do this together. So the first one, if you look, if you are looking at the first picture, these are peanuts, right? These are peanuts. So already the word uh, word is already written there, but few of the alphabets are missing. So what is the spelling? We are going to write it. We are going to write P E A N U T S. That is peanuts. Then the second. Let's come to the second one. Ah, this is a very familiar animal that can be found on trees. Now, what is it? It is the squirrel. So, what is the spelling of the squirrel? S-Q-U-I-R-R-R-E-L. That is double R-E-L. S-Q-U-I-R-R-E-L. That becomes squirrel. Now, let's come to number three. Okay, so this is a jungle with lots of trees the another we have already learned about synonyms right so the another word for jungle is forest so what is the spelling of forest f o r e s t forest so these are the three spellings that i have given to you four five and six are homework for you you are going to do it on your own now let's move towards the next exercise. Here also it is similar to the uh, previous exercise. Now exercise 2.2. Fill in the missing letters and complete the names of the pictures. Now here also the same goes. The pictures are given here and you have to write the spellings and the letters which are missing. Now let's do the first three then the others are homework for you. The first one. What is the picture that shows in the first one? That is a flower. So what is the spelling of flower? F-L-O-W-E-R. That becomes flower. Then let's come to number two. Uh, these are the animals, right? What are those? Those are monkeys. M-O-N-K-E-Y-S. That becomes monkeys. Then number three. So these are green green that we find on trees. What are these? These are leaves. And the spelling is L-E-A-V-E-S. Leaves. So the other three, four, five, six are yours. So you will be doing that on your own. So these are very... Uh, very easy so you can do it because you know the spellings of these pictures now let's move to the next one so here if you look at the 
screen you will see that the, this is a dog right what is this this is a dog in our in the in the previous lesson what we have read we have read a story about tommy and tuffy so i am taking an example of tuffy okay so this is the dog whose name is tuffy and we have read about tuffy what is it tuffy is a male dog then tuffy is small in size and tuffy cannot run fast right so these in these three sentences what are these these are sentences in these three sentences we are using the word tuffy 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 right but instead of using tuffy three times we can also use he why we will be using he because here we know that the dog is a male dog so if you see in the next box below here i have written that tuffy is a male dog he is small in size he cannot run fast now instead of tuffy i have used here he he in both the sentences so what are these or what is he why we have used a he he is called pronoun okay he is called pronoun why whenever we are using the sentences like tuffy is a male dog tuffy is small in size tuffy cannot run fast we don't like using the same word again and again it becomes irritating to make the sentence very comfortable to listen what we do is we use the pronoun and we always see whether the uh, suppose the person or the animal is a male or a female if it is a male then we will be using he if it is a female we will be using she and if we don't know the gender suppose we don't know whether the animal is a male or a female then what we will do we will use it okay now let's move towards and we will be discussing the pronouns now this is from your book what are pronouns we know that naming words are called nouns we have already got this one right naming words are called nouns underline it so whatever names we give to each and everything are nouns a pronoun is a word that we use in place of a noun so what is a pronoun underline it a pronoun is a word that we use in place of a noun so instead of the noun we use pronoun if you look at the examples here or the example that i have given uh, the tuffy example right instead of the noun tuffy is a noun yes or no it is a name of a dog but instead of uh, using the tuffy again and again i have used the pronoun he now let's come to the example here ram is a boy right again ram is 5 years old yes or no can we use ram is a boy ram is 5 years old ram goes to sf school ram stays at uh, zoo road so if we use ram 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 then what would happen it does not we don't like to use it it's very irritating to us so what we are going to do is instead of using ram 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 again and again because ram is a male a boy so we will be using the pronoun he so ram is a boy he is 5 years old then let's come to next example now this is a turtle taffy and the name of the turtle is taffy taffy is a turtle taffy is very old now taffy is a female turtle so what we are going to use which pronoun we are going to use taffy is a turtle she is very old so here we will be using she because this turtle is a female now let's move towards a, this is a chart of pronouns so for the girl we will be using she her hers and herself boy we will be using he him his and himself and for animal and object because we don't know whether it is a male or a female so we will be using it its itself and for the group when there is a group the the sfs group has went to 
uh, sorry the sfs uh, group has went for the picnic right now this is a group instead of using the sfs group again and again we will be using day also we will be after that we will be using damn dears themselves but right now you need to remember only this one she he it and they clear so let's move towards the next one now we are going to come to the subject and object pronouns so i hope you have understood the pronouns now let's move towards the subject and object pronouns first of all in a sentence we have subject and object so most of the sentence include subject and an object now what are subject and object so subject you need to underline here okay this one the subject of a sentence is the person or thing doing the activity doing the action suppose tuffy is a, a male dog right tuffy loves to play tuffy loves to play ball yes now in this sentence tuffy is what a noun right who is performing who is playing the ball tuffy so who is doing the action tuffy right so tuffy will be the subject here so tuffy the subject will be the one the person or the thing who is doing the action tuffy is playing the ball so tuffy is the subject and what is the object the object of a sentence is the person or thing receiving the action it can be a person or it can be a thing then who who will receive the action now we have come to know that tuffy is the subject because tuffy is performing the action and who is receiving that action because he tuffy is playing the ball so the ball is the object because ball is receiving now suppose tuffy tuffy is uh playing with his legs right so the action is done by legs so the ball is uh, the ball is actually getting the kicks from the tuffy he is receive sorry the ball is receiving the kicks from tuffy therefore the ball is the object clear here is an example if you look at this one rita ate an apple so rita ate an apple who is eating rita is eating therefore rita is performing the action right so rita will be an will be a subject then what she is doing apple she is eating the apple right so the apple has been eaten by rita yes or no so this is the apple is receiving the action right whatever the rita is doing apple is receiving the action so apple will be the object in the sentence i hope this is clear so a sentence has subject and object subject is the person or it can be a thing who performs the action or who does the action an object it can be also a person or a thing but he or she or it will be receiving the action subject will be doing the action and object will be receiving the action clear now let's move towards the next one now just it is a revision so we have come to know that pronouns take the place of nouns it can be he for the male she for the female if we don't know any gender it will be it and for the group it will be they now let's come to subject pronoun now a subject pronoun takes the place of the subject in a sentence so we have already learned the pronoun right now rita rita ate an apple rita is a female person right so when there is a female which pronoun we are going to use it we will be using she therefore whenever we are going to use the she it will become a subject pronoun then an object pronoun takes the place of the object in a sentence so rita ate an apple right so apple do you know is it a male or a female no we don't know whether the apple is a male or a female therefore which one which pronoun we will be using we will be using the pronoun it so as we are using the pronoun so it will be the object pronoun instead of the name of the object we are using the pronoun so it will become object pronoun i guess this is clear to you 
whenever we use Rita, sorry, Rita is a subject and instead of that subject, if we use the pronoun, it will become subject pronoun and apple, apple is the object, right? Because it is receiving the action. Now, instead of writing the apple, if we use it, it will become object pronoun. Clear? Now, let's move towards the next one. Here is a picture of a boy eating chocolate, right? Now, if you look at this sentences, Raju brought a chocolate. Here, Raju, what is it? It is the subject because Raju is the noun and he is performing the action. He went to buy the chocolate, right? Who went? Raju went. So, Raju is the subject here. And what did he bought? He bought the chocolate. So, chocolate is the one is receiving the action of Raju. So therefore chocolate will be the object. And now instead of Raju, we have used he. Now as we are using he, it will become subject pronoun because he is the pronoun and Raju is the male. Therefore we are using he and as he is used as a pronoun, so it will be subject pronoun. And chocolate. Chocolate, we don't know whether it is a male or a female, right? So, it will become, as we know that chocolate is an object and we instead of chocolate, we have used it. So, therefore, it will become object pronoun. So, this is how we differentiate between subject pronoun and object pronoun. Now, let's move to the next one. So this is the list of subject and object pronouns. Now what are the subject pronouns? In singular, we use I, you, he, she, it. I for myself, you for you. And for male, we will be using he. And for female, we will be using she. And when we don't know whether it is a male or a female, we will be using it. And for, and for plural, we, you and they. Clear? And for the object pronouns, we will be using me, you, for he. For instead of he, we will be using him for the object. Okay. I have given it to him. I have the give I have given the pen to him. To whom? Him. So this is how we will be using in singular me, you, him, her, it. And for plural, we will be using us, you, them. Now let's move towards the examples of subject pronouns and object pronouns. So the first sentence is, I like your dress. So I like your dress. Here I is the subject pronoun, right? Because I is saying something. Yes or no? Therefore I is the subject pronoun. They are friends. Now they are friends. So they here is the action or the saying, right? We are pointing to they. So they are doing something, right? They are together. So they is the plural form because two or three are there, right? Therefore, they are friends. So here the subject will be they. Now let's come to the examples of object pronouns. Can you help me here? We are asking something, no? So we will be receiving, yes or no? So me is the object pronoun. Can you help me? So you will be helping me, right? So I will be receiving the help from you. So therefore, me will be, me will be the object pronoun. Then the next one is Sarla can see him. Sarla is a subject, right? I can see him. Because we are using here, instead of the name, we are using here him. So, this will be object pronoun. Clear? Go through these examples and try to uh, find out how these changes are happening. Okay? Then you will come to know. Now, let's move towards the next slide. Here we have, uh, have an exercise, exercise 3.1. Right, whether the underlined pronouns are subject pronouns or object pronouns. One is done for you. So number one is, he threw the ball to me. So the me has been underlined, right? So me is not a 
uh, name of a person, not, not the name or not applying to me. We are just saying me. The, my name has not been mentioned, right? So therefore, it will be me we used in pronoun. So it will be object pronoun. He threw the ball to me. He. He is doing the action and me is receiving it because he threw the ball to me. Therefore, I have to receive the ball, right? Therefore, me is the object pronoun here. In the same way, number two, if you see, it bit me hard. So, it bit me hard. So, I am, I have received, right? It bit me. The insect has bit me, right? Or the dog has bit me. So, I have received the bite. Yes or no? But from whom? We don't know. Uh, the dog is there. But, but we don't know whether it is a male or a female. So, therefore, here the it is given. So, it is the subject pronoun here. So, like this way, you have to do the 3, 4, 5, 6. I will be giving you the answers later on. But try to do it on your own. Clear? So, now let's come to the recapitulation. That is what we have studied or learned in today's class. So, we have learned the definition of pronoun which is a pronoun is a word that we use in place of a noun. Then most sentences have a subject and an object. A subject is the person or thing doing the action and the object is the person or thing receiving the action. So, Subject is the person who is doing the action. So I am doing, I am teaching, right? So I am doing, right? So I, here is the subject. And the object is the person or thing receiving the action. I am teaching to the students. I am teaching you. Yes, the students will become you. I am teaching you. I is the subject because I am doing the uh, action. And you will be the object. Why object pronoun? Why? Because you are receiving whatever I am teaching, right? Therefore, you are going to be the object pronoun and I am going to be the subject pronoun. Clear? A subject pronoun takes the place of a subject in a sentence. An object pronoun takes the place of an object in a sentence. So, this is what we have read and learned in today's class. Go through the uh, module 4, the pronouns, the subject and object pronouns. Read the examples. Try to find out how to differentiate it. And if you have any doubts, you can text me, WhatsApp me your doubts and then I can clear it to you in my next class. Okay. So here I end my class. Thank you.